Welcome to Now You Talking, which is a series of videos uh, that offer descriptions of key terms in the You Talk framework. Today, we're looking at the term culture. Now, in everyday language, culture seems pretty straightforward. It refers to the context you grew up in, things like traditions, expectations, roles, and history. My culture that I grew up in in Northern Virginia in the 1970s, 80s, and 90s, obviously different than Egypt 5,000 years ago or Saudi Arabia today. Although this is fine for everyday language, it becomes tricky when we look at the details. So, for example, if culture refers to the context you grew up in, is that everything in the environment? Like if I'm here in the Shenandoah Valley, does it include the Green Mountains? Um, does it include the roads? Um, animals live in environments. Do they have culture? So culture is a really crucial concept in the social sciences and probably the central concept in cultural anthropology. Although it seems straightforward it's at first glance, like so many terms we've talked about, when scholars get into them, try to apply scientific models to them, there's lots of confusion that emerges. Uh, and there's not been a lot of consensus in relationship to how to define this term in the scientific community. Let me give you a little history. Um, back in 1871, Tyler uh, wrote what would become a famous essay on sort of the complex whole, uh, which includes knowledge, belief, art, morals, custom, and any other capabilities and habits across acquired by man as a member of society. Almost 100 years later, uh, some scholars did a review in 1952 and identified almost 160 terms. Uh, they said culture consists of patterns of explicit, implicit um, behavior acquired and transmitted by symbols constituted distinctive achievement of human groups, including their embodiments and artifacts. The essential core of culture consists of traditional ideas, especially attached to values. Culture systems may, on the one hand, be considered part of products of action, on the other, controlling elements of further action. This definition did not achieve consensus, and recently, Gustav Yoda concluded, hey, the concept of cultures, although it's indispensable, can't really be defined. Most now almost revert back to the common sense definition and just talk about shared learned experiences that sort of define the context that coordinate people. Let's now shift to you talk and the lens it provides. To do that, let me first define society or at least the key elements that go into society. And then from there, we're gonna define culture. I argue societies can be framed as human assemblages made up of four different kinds of elements. First, there's the biophysical ecology in which the system is situated and the resources it can pull on. Those green mountains I talked about, that's part of the biophysical ecology of the society in which I live. Second, there are technologies and artifacts that humans build in an evolution of technological innovation, and things like roads would fit into that. Third, there are behavioral repertoires, procedures and ways of participating that are learned and transmitted. Now, this is really important because these elements actually show up in the animal kingdom. Um, and we will see and we'll see that other animals have shared learned behavioral repertoires. This is one of the things that makes uh, definition defining culture really tricky. What animals don't have is the fourth definition of culture. That's the culture person plane of existence. This is the dimension of justification, the dimension of self-reflective account giving, reason giving, and dialogue that takes place between linguistically, uh, uh, language-based speaking adults. And what this does is it drives systems of knowledge or more effectively characterized as systems of justification that evolve. It's this set of systems that is absolutely crucial to differentiate between behavioral repertoires. To see what I mean in relationship to defining this, think of a basketball game. The basketball sits as an arena on a biophysical ecology. It also is then made up of all the technological innovations that make the hoop, that make the court, that make the benches. There's also then the ability to play basketball, which is the behavioral repertoires that will both afford participation and procedural learning. And finally, there's the rule set and the concept of basketball that justifies the particular angle. Now, what we've achieved here in delineating these elements is as a function of the tree of knowledge. The tree of knowledge system enables us to see the frequencies of behavior patterns first in nature, separating them out from the technological world. That's why we were able to separate out technologies from the other domain. And then we can specify the biophysical ecology as the life and matter dimensions. 
most importantly in terms of the domains of confusion that people have gotten into is the ability to separate out the mind animal dimension and the behavioral investment patterns from the culture person systems of justification. So when we look at the concept of culture from the vantage point of Utah, what we get to see is that most people are centering around this idea of justification. However, when you look at it, it also gets entangled with other mental processes like particular behavioral repertoires. And of course they have particular ritual meanings. So everything gets into this tangled complex whole. The nice thing about you talk is that it affords us a lens to see that tangled complex whole on different frequencies of behavior. We can pull out the biophysical, we can pull out the mental animal, and we can pull out the cultural person. By doing that, we can define societies in one particular way and then see culture, both in terms of capital C culture, the justifications of the culture person plane of existence, and little c culture, something that's shared with animals, in terms of behavioral repertoire, as the coordinating glue that brings people together and allows them to function in human societies.